In order to test an ILS, we go into our test functions menu, then into navigation, and then select the ILS. So the left hand side of the screen is our pre-test conditions and the right hand side of the screen are the in-test values. As with all of our test pages, there's a config screen at the bottom which I'm going to enter now. This calls up our config screen. At the top we have the port selection, whether we're going to connect to the radio through the antenna or through the cable. Next is the localizer frequency and the localizer power. I can change the localizer frequency from presets to channels to variable. I'm going to set up as a preset. I can change the localizer power from dBm to millivolts to microvolts. dBm. Next, the glide slope, exactly the same. I can change the frequency from a preset, a channel, and a variable. Again, going to set to preset. And I can also change the power the same way. We are going to stick with dBm. That's the configuration. I hit the exit at the top left. This takes us back to our test page. For the frequency, select the value. And with this little pop-up, it gives me the preset frequencies that we've defined. I'm going to use 109.15. This, of course, is a localizer frequency, and the system will automatically tune to the related glide slope frequency. Next, the power of the localizer. Click the numbers. Up pops our little box. In this case, I'm going to take the value to 0 dBm. Power for the glide slope. Exactly the same. Touch the numbers. Up pops the box. I'm going to leave it at 0 dBm. Ident, I can select it from an off condition to a continuous 1 kHz tone or a Morse code. So this is defining what audio we'll hear in the cockpit. We like to use the code, so we're going to send a Morse code. That's the preset condition set up on the left hand side of the screen. When we start the test, we hit the start test button. The ART is now generating an ILS signal. At the top left, we have the localizer deviation step, and we can change that from fixed to variable. We're going to leave it as fixed. Same thing for the glide slope. We can change that to fixed values. So whenever we move the localizer and the glide slope, that will be moved in a stepped value, in a fixed amount. We can change the localizer phase and the glide slope phase by simply selecting them and changing a value, normally zero degrees for localizer and zero degrees for glide slope phase. You also have localizer tone deletes. Both on means a normal signal. If we select this, we can change that to both off, which switches both portions, the 90 and the 150 hertz elements of the localizer off, or we can switch the 90 hertz off individually or the 150 hertz off. Normal operation for us is to keep them both on. Same thing for the glide slope delete. If we want to, we can switch both elements off together or switch the 90 hertz element off or the 150 hertz element off. In this case, they're both on. So right now we're generating a center point, center line, localizer and glide slope ILS signal to the aircraft. By pushing the right arrow, I step the localizer one DDM to the right. It's indicated there. If I push it again, it's 0.155 DDMs to the right. I can push the left arrow and bring it back to the center point. Same thing for glide slope. As I switch the glide slope, it's now up. And I can take it higher or I can take it down. If at any time I push the center dot, That brings the localizer and the glide slope back to the center line. So using this screen, we can control the position of the localizer and the glide slope. I can change the deviation steps. I can change the tone deletes on both elements, the localizer and the glide slope. I can change the localizer phase and the glide slope phase. There is an auto function. Push the auto function. In auto, the localizer and glide slope move in a corkscrew pattern from the outer 
edges of their indication right into the center line in a stepped fashion. Once they get to the center point, they will go backwards. The radio and the display is continually exercising from the extremes of the ILS down into the center line. We use this for fault finding. It can be used to exercise instruments to find faults with cables and connectors and antennas. To switch auto off, you just touch it again and auto's off. The localizer. To finish, stop the test. We're now not generating a signal and we can exit back to the navigation menu, back to the functions menu, back to the main menu.